This week we're at the Tornado Memorial in Grand Park as it's that time of year where we honor the 13 lives that were lost during the June 10th, 1958 tornado. I invite you down to Grand Park uh, Saturday around 5.45 p.m. to remember this tragic event and to also remember and honor those lives that were tragically taken from us on that fateful day. But you'll notice that the uh, tornado harp is actually not here yet as it is currently being tuned um, and it will be available on Saturday so you can see and hopefully maybe even hear uh, the harp playing as it actually sounds like a tornado siren going off. I should also note that at 5.45 p.m. the tornado sirens will be sounding provided that the weather cooperates. If there is bad weather we actually won't sound the sirens but if it's a beautiful day like today uh, we will sound the sirens at 5.45 p.m. Uh, to commemorate the tornado and also those lives that were lost. Right after that event at 6.30 p.m., you can tune in to Channel 12, KWCH, as Eldorado's very own meteorologist, Frank Waugh, will provide uh, a special dawn of the Doppler radar um, so you can learn more about how the Eldorado's 1958 tornado was actually the very first tornado that was observed on Doppler radar. El Dorado City Commission had quite a few items on its agenda on Monday's meeting. Uh, many of these items were put on the consent agenda due to time constraints. Um, but what we wanted to do is kind of highlight several of these items that uh, may be of, of interest to the community. The first one I'm going to highlight is the Chelsea sidewalk. This sidewalk will be constructed right off of Chelsea Drive on the north end of town and will connect Chelsea Drive with the El Dorado High School. A lot of students actually walk along this pathway now um, today to get to school um, but this will actually create not only a sidewalk but a bridge that will traverse a drainage area that will make it a lot easier for these students to get to school. This project was approved by the excess sales tax committee for funding and the commission actually awarded funds a couple of years ago. Uh, the city bid it uh, but the project was actually came in the bids came in a little bit too expensive for the project budget so we waited a little bit and recently rebid it uh, and now the project fits within the scope of the, uh, the project funding so that was approved uh, and will be uh, beginning construction here very soon the Commission also approved a supplemental agreement to the Conco agreement uh, that was done a few weeks ago that original agreement was for concessions and locker room facilities at both East and uh, Central Park. This supplemental agreement will add a locker room facility to the East Park concession and restroom facility uh, and that locker room facility will be used by Butler Community College's softball team. So a lot of things that are happening in East Park that will be coming soon uh, as we get basically the design uh, and some of the construction will be taking place off-site uh, so that once the season's over we can then move those facilities on site and finalize the construction. So you'll be hopefully seeing that here uh, on site in the coming months. And I should note that that project will not be paid for by the city. Uh, Butler Community College will pay for the entire locker room facility. The city will add it as part of their agreement and then Butler Community College will reimburse the city uh, for those expenses. The total cost of that project is $265,000. The City Commission also approved Phase 3 for public infrastructure improvements to the Adelsberger Smith Edition. Uh, this edition is located in the south end of town and will add about 25 buildable lots to the city's housing stock. Um, there's been a lot of interest in Adelsberger Smith Phase 2 and so this will add the public infrastructure necessary to get Phase 3 lots uh, buildable. So this will include sanitary sewer improvements, uh, street improvements, storm improvements uh, and it will it does not include water improvements but the city will also be doing water improvements as well so a lot of great things happening in the Adelsberger Smith edition the city commission also approved a special use permit at 518 North Star the request for that special use permit was is for a micro distillery to be located on that site uh, it is the applicants desire not to sell on site but rather to produce product and then sell that through a um, distributor. The commission also amended the ordinance uh, affecting uh, owners of the Staffordshire Terriers and related breeds, also known as pit bulls. 
The major change to this ordinance uh, s establishes that anyone in a household 18 years or older will be subject to a criminal background check. Uh, the ordinance was not specific, and so there was some question about the application of the background check. So now, if you own a pit bull, uh, anyone that is 18 years or older within the household will be subject to a criminal background check uh, for the pit bull permitting process. We actually have a couple of events that are coming to Forest Park uh, very soon. The first of these events is the Ballet in the Park, uh, provided by the Metropolitan Ballet of Wichita. That will be tonight at 7 p.m. at Forest Park at the band show. They will be performing Aurora's Wedding, so you want to get down and check that out uh, tonight. Next week is Flag Day. On Wednesday, June 14th, the Municipal Band will be providing a special performance at 7 p.m. also at the Band Shell in Forest Park commemorating Flag Day. That's all I got for this week on Things to Know. Y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Music